Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing really well. Today I have my third update for the Partners in Cream Project Pan. This is a collaborative project pan where we work on using only liquid and cream products from our collection. You don't have to use only makeup. I personally keep these kinds of project pans specifically for makeup because I'm also doing my like non-makeup project pan alongside this. So I personally like to use only cream and liquid makeup products, but you can put in items like lotions and like skincare, body care, nail care kind of products, whatever you so please. As long as it's not a powder, it's fair game. And this is such a fun project pan. I really had some serious FOMO last year after a couple months went by and I saw so many people participating this in this and I, yeah, I really, really felt like I was missing out. So I'm so happy I decided to do this project yet again when Steph and Dylan did um, announce that they were gonna be doing it again, I was all over it. And now that we are three months into it, I'm still feeling so excited and so motivated to be a part of this project. So thank you again to Steph and Dylan for this concept. If you haven't checked out either of their channels yet, definitely recommend, they are both so fun. I love their project panning content and you will absolutely adore them if you like the kinds of videos that I do. You will love both of those ladies. They are so, so good. But let's hop on into some of the progress that I've made over the past month. Um, you can have anywhere between three and five products in this project. And personally, I took Haley's kind of route that she's doing this project with this year. And so I have three items that I'm trying to finish up and three items that I have a usage goal on. And so I'm gonna share with you all the progress that I've made over the past month. So why don't we just hop on into that? So let's talk about the products that I had a usage goal on first, actually. And the first one has been in here since the introduction of this project. This is the Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer in the shade Baked. I had a usage goal of 50 uses on this and I've had it since the introduction of this project, as I said. So I've had it in here for quite some time. Last update, I felt pretty confident that I'd be able to hit my usage goal, and I have. I'm really happy about that. I have actually used this in this project a total of 51 times. So today was my 17th time reaching for it this past month. That's pretty much on par with how I've used it over the entirety of the project. And I'm so, so happy about that, but oh my gosh, if I ever wanted to use this product up, I would be in it for the long haul if even possible. Like I don't even know if it'd be humanly possible. So. As I said in the introduction of this project, I had never twisted up this product yet, so I had never scrolled it. I had heard that if you twist it up, then possibly it might not twist back down, so I opted to not ever do that. And I had no need to ever have twisted it up because I never used enough product to get it to flush, like to be flush with the packaging. I still haven't. Like look how much product is still above the actual packaging itself. And that's after 50 uses tracked in this project but I had used it probably altogether about 50 times prior. I can't say for certain, but I probably used this about 100 times in its lifetime and there's still product that's down in here. <laughs> there's so, so much dang product in here, but in any case, I've used it 50 times, which is amazing. I'm super, super happy with that. Actually, in this past month, there were multiple times when I kind of multi-purposed this. Not only did I wear it as a bronzer, but I would also use it, like I put it on the back of my hand and then I would mix it with either foundation or concealers that were a little bit too light for me and I'd like use it as a mixing medium. And so I got pretty significant usage out of it that way and it still is not even flush with the packaging. So that just goes to show you how a little goes a long way with this product for sure. But as I've said in every single one of my updates, not necessarily a product that I'd recommend because the shade range just is not very good, but the formula is really beautiful. So Milk, I would love, 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 love to see them expand that shade range and just make it cater to more skin tones and more people. But they probably wouldn't have to offer it in such a big size if that was the case. I'd love to see them offer more shades with less product. That would be amazing. But um, yeah, let's move on to two products that I actually rolled in in my last update. So I've only had these both in for one month, but um, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about them. This first item is a lip liner by ColourPop. This is in the shade Brink. I didn't realize that this is still available. I'm surprised because ColourPop does tend to like discontinue things so frequently, but this is still available and this is a really beautiful, like rosy kind of deeper, deeper nude, like deeper nude to me 
kind of shade. It's really, really beautiful and it's super easy to wear with a wide variety of different lipsticks, especially in my collection. I find that this kind of just pairs with so many that I own. My goal with this is to use it 20 times. I'm currently at eight uses, so I'm not quite up to like that halfway point goal, but I think if I kind of just ramp up my usage in the coming month, I could roll it out by my next update. However, these next two weeks are really, really, really busy for me with school. So I don't necessarily know that I'll be able to actually reach for this 12 more times. I don't even know that I'll wear makeup necessarily 12 more times in the next couple of weeks, but maybe after that, once I get back into like the groove of like working, maybe I'll be able to wear it. But um, yes, it's possible. We are pretty, pretty good shaping up to be able to roll this out next time possibly, but it might end up being in here for two more months. I don't really mind if that's the case because this is the only like natural lip color liner that I have in my collection. So I really don't mind having this in this project for a little while longer. And then the other product I also rolled in last update, as I said, it's again a usage goal. This is the Ciate London Dewy Blush Glossy Cheek Tint. I had received this from Look Fantastic in PR back in like September or October, and I've used it one time. It is a very, very sheer, lightweight, balmy um, blush <laughs> words. And it really reminds me of those new like serum kind of blushes that ColourPop has. And I'm not really purchasing from ColourPop, but when I saw those available, it really did catch my eye. And so I thought this is actually a really good opportunity to roll this product that I already own that's very comparable to it into this project to really just kind of fit that desire and that need and that urge, I guess, not really a need at all, but that like desire. So this is what it looks like here. I set myself a goal to use this also 20 times, which it's tough for me when it comes to blushes, but I have now used it a total of six times. So I'm not quite, quite where I wanna be with it, but I don't mind having this in the project for a couple more months. 20 times I can really get to know this product. Six times I feel like I have a better handle on it. It's extremely sheer, so I can wear it on top of other cream blushes. I can wear it underneath of powder blushes, although it can be a little bit patchy because it is so, so balmy, so, so like, I don't want to call it oily, but it it's definitely emollient. And yeah, I'm just getting to really know this product now, finally, after having it for many months. So I'm not, I'm not upset that I have 14 more uses left on this. In fact, I'll be able to play with it in many more ways and try it out in so many different kind of contexts in the next 14 uses. That's the beauty of like these usage kind of goals is like you kind of challenge yourself to try things in new ways. At least for me personally, that's kind of how I really love to project pan is like, I wanna see how I can really fall in love with something and how I can really come to this point where I wanna recommend it and I want to use it beyond that usage goal. But those are my usage goal products. I still have three additional products that I've been working on. So I will be replacing the milk bronzer with something. I'm gonna leave that till the end but I do have a usage product that I am so excited to share with you. I cannot wait, I, I, I cannot wait. So I'm just gonna share it with you now. This is a product that I've had in since the introduction of this project. It's actually a depotted lipstick that came in this bullet. This is the ColourPop Tiptoe Lips, Lux Lipstick and I had depotted all of the product that was like flush with the packaging, the product that I could no longer just quickly apply from the bullet into a ColourPop Super Shock Shadow Pan, actually. And I finally have finished it up. <laughs> there was just that last little remnant part of the lipstick lasted for these first three months of the year, which I just think is just wild. But oh my gosh, I'm so happy to be done with this because in those last few uses, it was feeling it was like it was never ending. And as much as it was a really beautiful product, I absolutely really did love wearing this every single time that I wore it. I really enjoyed it. But I was just getting to that point where I was like, okay, is it ever gonna be over? <laughs> so it's totally done. This is completely used up. The bullet is entirely empty. I just dropped the lid, but they're completely empty. And that feels like such a feat because it took so freaking long. I just have to pause here for a quick second so you can see I used 1.01 grams of product in this project. That was the not accessible 
or not as easily accessible section of the lipstick bullet, which is just wild to me that there was that much product in it because this had an advertised weight of 3.5 grams. So if you really, really wanna get the most out of your lipsticks, this is a really good hack. I was panning this into my 20 favorites in 2020 last year for the entire year, and then I rolled this in um, this year as well. So that feels like a huge accomplishment. I must, I feel like I have to like take a bow because that was, such a feat for me and it felt so, so good. So I used it as a cream blush and as a lipstick and I absolutely adored it, but I do feel good. I'm feeling great actually about that being out of my life. I have the Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer in the shade Light Natural. This is a little bit too light for me. So actually it was this product primarily that I was using like mixed with the Milk Bronzer. I'd never thought of that prior to this past update, but it was so easy to just mix the two because I could just draw the Milk Bronzer on the back of my hand, use this wand to like scoop some product into onto the back of my hand and kind of just mesh the two products together. So that's how I was able to get really great use out of this this past month. However, I've not yet finished this up. So my markings have been coming off every single month. So I haven't really been able to like keep an exact track of this, but I started all the way up here. And then I was down to here by update one, update two, I was around here. And now I actually feel like I can't make a marking because I've taken out the stopper and it's basically just whatever product remains on the sides of the tube which isn't that much. If I had worn makeup maybe five or six more times this month, perhaps I would have actually had this done by now. But um, like I said, we're in crunch time right now, so I wasn't wearing makeup as often. And some days I would wear just like a little bit of liquid highlighter, brows and mascara, just so I felt a little bit pulled together, but I didn't do the whole thing, you know? So this is not done, but next update, 100%, it'll be done. It is so, so close. It's gonna be done. And the same case with this other product as well. This is the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Crimper. This is not a shade that's available anymore. It's just this beautiful light golden shade, however, and I am so close. <laughs> so I've had this in since the introduction of this project. I did not anticipate it taking me quite this long to use this up. It's a very versatile shade. I'm wearing it today on my inner corner. I'm wearing it on my brow bone, just like right at the arch of my brows. And then I'm also wearing it a little bit on my collarbones and like right here in the center of my chest because I've been wearing this actually very, very often as more of like a highlighting product than as a specific eyeshadow product. And that's how I've been able to make really great use out of it or really great progress on it. And last update, I actually said, maybe I'll try it as like a glowy base kind of product. So I've been wearing it a lot like that underneath of my tinted moisturizers and foundations. I've been putting it on the high points of my cheeks. And even days when I'm not wearing any other makeup, I just kind of apply it to the high points of my cheeks because honestly, if if you saw me in person, it would look a little bit too glittery, maybe a little bit too over the top, but I don't see anyone in person right now. So like when I do a Zoom call with like a teacher or a Google Hangout with my boss, like they don't see the highlight as glittery as they I don't think either of them actually see the highlight like they're not paying attention to that but like nobody sees it being so glittery and like the texture isn't quite perfect but I've been able to get use out of it and I personally really have been enjoying it that way so that's all that really matters anyways so that is all six products that have currently been in this project however I'm going to be rolling in two new items because finish up one and I hit my usage goal on another so I'm rolling in one product in each of those categories and I'm nervous about both of them, not gonna lie. So the first item I'm gonna be rolling in is a usage product and this is the Milk Makeup, what is this? Eye Pigment and this is in the shade, I don't know why I don't know, oh, Peep Show. It is really pretty actually. It's like this silvery, purpley kind of color. It is actually quite reminiscent of one of my favorite eyeshadows which is ColourPop Couche, but maybe a little bit more on the purple side. That's what it looks like there. And it's like a squeeze tube liquid eyeshadow. And as beautiful as it is, and as impactful as it is, I wanna say I've probably used this like twice ever. And I've had it for quite some time and I purchased it from Winners and thought, I'm gonna wear that all the time. And 
yeah, I've probably put on my eyes maybe two or three times, tops. 2020, I didn't touch it. 2019, I think is the year that I purchased it. And yeah, it's just sad. It's just so sad that I let some products just go completely unused in my collection. So that's where this usage goal really comes in, comes in clutch for me, you know? So I'm thinking I wanna use this, I haven't set the goal, maybe 10 times. I think 10 is good because then I can have it in for maybe two months. And I think this actually will be the perfect time for me to roll this into this project just based on what I have on or in my pan, those eyeshadows project pan. So I'm gonna say 10 uses, that's an improvement. That's an improvement from the amount of use and love that it's seen in the past. So 10, 10 is where we're going with that. I don't wanna go any steeper than that. And like five or six doesn't seem sufficient enough. So a challenge would definitely be 10. And I'm really happy with that number actually. It's so pretty. And I really think that it's something I can wear like on its own or I can wear it in combination with so many different eyeshadows. So that'll be a lot of fun for me. And then the next product is one that I wanna finish up. and. I kind of want to finish it up, but I also kind of don't want to finish it up. This is the Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche Lipstick in the shade Honeycomb. It's what I'm wearing today on my lips. It's like my go-to nude-esque kind of lip. It's a little bit beigey brown kind of shade, so it's not like my lips, but better. But it's the kind of color that I think pairs with almost every single look possible. And it's basically the brown version of what color pop tiptoe gave me and i love tiptoe and i found i could wear it with absolutely everything always but it was more like the cool tone version and this is like the warm tone version but the same depth and i love this lipstick so much but these this line is discontinued and this is starting to get a bit older i did finish off a mini of this in the past i believe or maybe it ended up kind of like melting on me but i used so much of it and then I had to repurchase it because I adore this shade. And now that it's not available, I have been somewhat kind of savoring it and not wanting to use it up. But now is the time. I have to use it before I let it go bad. So I still have quite a bit of lipstick in here. And with my track record with lipsticks, I'm not sure that I'll actually be able to finish it up, but I wanna try. It might be something that I work on for the entirety of this year. And that's okay. That's okay with me. It'd be kind of fun to just track the progress, see kind of how often I am actually reaching for it and getting use out of it. And I just, I just want to love on it, you know, while it's still good. And while it's something that I have in my collection, I want to get some really good use out of it. So I want to finish it up. I don't imagine being able to do that by anytime soon. And that, nor do I want to, because I want to hold on to it and enjoy it for as long as possible. But I do think it's something that I'd like to prioritize and I think it's perfect. I can just swap out one lipstick for the next. This video is a freaking eternity, so I gotta wrap it up. But that is gonna be everything for today's video. Definitely go check out the playlist and on Instagram, this project is hashtag partners in cream 2021. Definitely recommend that you go and check out all the other creators doing this project on both platforms. But that's gonna be everything. Thank you so, so much for watching and for hanging out with me. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone. <laughs>